Hi everyone, my name is Juliana and welcome to my channel. Today in this video I want to take you through one of my fashion editorial shoots and I'm going to show you one of my favorite and go-to sets, especially what comes to fashion photography, especially editorial fashion and especially if there is some vibrant rich colors and some sparkle, this set looks phenomenal, you just cannot go wrong with that. So before I'll start, before I'm going to show you, it will be one light setup and I notice that I show you one light setups a lot just because my point, one of the point of this channel to show you don't need a lot, you don't need a lot of gear to create that beautiful um, photography. But, um, and for this particular set, I believe that for fashion and beauty, a lot of time, one light, one nice light with uh, appropriate modifier is enough because you don't want to kind of take away with a lot of shape to, to create like with creative lightning you don't really want to take away from uh, let's say fashion or beauty like the look or the outfit because that's the whole point when we're talking about editorial fashion and beauty uh, but without being said of course now these days you can use creative whatever you like anyway my point is i'm going to show you some multiple lights set up i already have it scheduled and i'm going to show you but this one will be one light you will going to be needing um, extra board and v flat for that though um, i have those in my studio but i think that this is essential uh, anyways if you're into photography and especially into studio photography i think those are essential that you really should think about so i'll be taking you through the look and first i'm going to start with the preparation because i mentioned it several times ago in my di before in my different videos and i want to mention it again being prepared for the photo shoot makes wonder and i think i talk i made a specific video about that and i believe it calls why your picture doesn't look like in the magazine where I talk about preparation. Uh, I'm talking about putting effort about uh, in hair and makeup because my personal style, I shoot a lot of fashion beauty editorials and fine art portraits. That's what I like to shoot the most. And I find what comes to fashion and beauty, it's not enough just to replicate the set and the light that you saw in the magazine. Because the whole point of the editorial fashion and beauty is to actually create a beauty look or create a fashionable outfit that really brings that your shot to the next level. That's the reason why I show in my videos my preparation time, how much effort and time it actually goes into to create and how much thought it goes before that that I don't show when I think about the look. Those all adds up devils in the details, all those little details come together and create those beautiful shots for you. Okay, so without further ado, let's go to the shoot. Okay, so let's start with the styling. So the whole focus, the main focus for the shoot is purple, vibrant, vibrant purple color. And that's what I'm trying to bring in my styling, in my makeup, I do smoky purple eye, and you will see later on, it will colorate with purple dress and a lot of highlights because it will be very dark, um, glamorous uh, set. And I do plan that, I do hope that the highlight will going to show. And of course, some lashes because no glamorous shoot goes without the lashes. And to finish up the look, some sparkly lip gloss uh, because it's all about glamour the shoot has to be super glamorous very sparkly and awesome for the hair I decided to use curls because I wanted a lot of texture and volume I was going for the queen of disco type of look like what is it, 80s or something like this like a disco queen because it's all about glamour and whenever you shoot especially editorials like fashion you want to shoot or beauty it's all about effort into details because it does bring the look together and it makes your picture look more interesting. So do not um, hesitate to spend a lot of time for the hair and makeup. And here I decided to show you uh, press on nails because usually I have my own long nails, but I did break a nail a few days ago. So I had to use press on and I'm showing it that because not all the time your client or model will have a perfect manicure. And it's so great to have a few sets of these in your studio, especially if you do work with women a lot because manicures really 
do make a huge difference and these are look so nice and your model can just pop them in if she doesn't have nice manicure without a minute and then she can easily remove after the photo shoot and that's just something i recommend you to have in your studio okay and now i'm all set we can start shooting okay guys so let me walk you through the set so first you see that I've created a black corridor. So I've used my, um, one of them is my board that I painted black that I have in my studio. Another one is my black V-flat. So that's why I created from all the sides black that I love this set most to photograph like a sparkly, vibrant colors. Just you see my look today. I think it will be perfect. Editing Juliana here. So I think I was eager to start shooting so I didn't mention certain things that I would like to talk a little bit in detail. I've mentioned that I've, cre I've created black dark set is because first of all that was the mood, that was the original idea, that's what I wanted to create for the shoot. But there is also a reason for that because as I mentioned dark colors, in my case black, but also deep dark colors maybe like deep blue, green, purple, whatever. It's a very good background to photograph vivid rich colors, sparkly surfaces, reflective surfaces, golds, silvers. Now I also want to mention why did I use those black boards on the side? Why I simply didn't use only black background? So basically we need reflectors, those boards, in order to shape the light. Let me explain this way. So you have a source of light and whatever it comes from out of source of light, it spills everywhere, right? Like. There is a subject and there is a source of light. And when light starts to going out of your light source, it spills everywhere and goes on the subject, but it's also a lot of uh, light spills uh, on the background and to the side. Depending on the color of reflector, we can shape that light. So let's say if we will put white reflectors on the side, light will going to travel, then it's going to hit the boards white reflectors and white, what it does, it does reflect light. So it will going to kick back all the light that spill around back onto the subject and back into the shot. So we create that in order to soften shadows, soften highlights and make overall brighter shot. It's one thing. So the black boards, negative feel, create the opposite effect. Black boards, they absorb the light. All the spill that does not hit subject it's getting absorbed by the boards. And that creates the effect of way deeper shadows, uh, much deeper mid-tones, which helps with saturation. So the next point is angles. And I want to mention that you will see that the light, the softbox that I have, it positioned very high up and it's gonna shine on top of the subject. And if the angle of the camera was like a regular one, then it would obviously create very contrasty effect, many shadows. But in my case, it didn't just because camera angle was also high up. So camera actually see very well lit uh, subject. So in this case, uh, the high up um, angle, light of angle does not really uh, create any specific different effects, lighting effects. It's just because the angle of the camera is also was high up. And the reason is for doing this angle is just because I wanted to be creative, I wanted to do something different, because I feel as a lot of photographers, we kind of stuck with certain angles that work for us, that we like, and we just stop experimenting. And in this particular shoot, that's what I wanted. I just want to experiment with different angle. And that's the only reason for that. Okay, so here are some shots from this photo session and um, I love the way it turned out but it was kind of easy one because I like the dress, I like the styling, everything was very nice. Okay, so let's go over. So 
First of all, as I've mentioned, high contrast shoot achieved with one bright light that I was diffusing, diffusing these highlights, but also those beautiful shadows even here. Do you see? Uh, if this is because we have those boards uh, going on, I had those boards going on there. I have this deep, rich shadow, and my mid tones are saturated and nice. And this is for fashion shoot, very, very nice. For portrait shoot as well. And you will going to see, I have um, one set that is beautiful representation that it can be used for portrait shoot as well. And one more thing, the flying hair effect achieved. I have a fan right behind me that flows my hair upwards and that's how this beautiful movement was achieved. These three uh, last images are different because the angle of my camera and light was changed. So the camera angle is a little bit, it's kind of from, but from a little bit from below and that's what I use a lot of time for fashion per se because it just kind of get that strong confident feel going on and for the hair I move the um, fan in front of me and it's right here on the floor and it's blowing my hair upward and that's how this beautiful movement and this um, volume created. The background is much lighter here because we get more light spill uh, because the light position differently. It's also it stands just behind the camera, it's front light. But I still have this beautiful nice definition on the edges everywhere for because of the black boards that's on the side and it helps to kind of separate the subject and define the subject more. Yeah, and there's change only the accessory. Here's the hairband that I also created myself. And this is no difference what comes to camera angle and light position. The only difference is the light, uh, this, the shot is tighter. So it's still saying 50 millimeter lens 1.8. Uh, but I bring it closer that it give more candid feel and you see it become more of the portrait shoot. So for those of you who um, use artificial lighting to capture portraits, this is a very good set as well because it still has this, again, beautiful shadows, nice highlights, and I think this set is beautiful for portraits as well, just as you can see here. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. Thumbs up if you did. Please share the love and knowledge and it really helps my channel and I do appreciate it a lot. If you have any suggestions, please feel free to leave it in the comments down below or just show some, or just show some love. I do. Uh, I really enjoy to um, read your comments uh, when you just you know, you'll say that video was useful and that's the whole point of me making them. And of course, subscribe if you haven't already and if you want to see more of my photography, please visit my Instagram account. It's at yuranachi underscore photo and I hope to see you next time. Bye!